Amen. Amen. So this morning, I believe that God is set to crown this year and this season for us with his goodness. Can I hear you? Amen. Amen. That is the counsel of God. Psalm 65 verse 11. The will of God has been revealed. The counsel of God has been made known. The word of God says God crowns the year with his goodness and draws fatness. Fat things, fat breakthroughs, Amen. miracles Amen. on our part. Can I prophesy in the name of Jesus? Amen. Get ready to see and experience Amen. more and more of God's goodness in your life. Amen. All the goodness of God will pass by you. Amen. And God will drop fatness, Amen. fat breakthroughs, Amen. fat increase, Amen. fat finances, Amen. favor on your part. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's God's determinate counsel. It is written so that we, it cannot be changed. Amen. It is written so that we can know that that is what God does. So we cannot be confused. Amen. Can I hear an amen? amen? Yeah, that is the purpose of God. In Isaiah chapter 14, I'm going to tell you my topic in a minute. In Isaiah 14, verse 26 to 27, it said, This is the purpose that is proposed upon all the earth. And this is the hand that is stretched, you know, out upon all nations. The crowning with goodness is the purpose that God has proposed. Amen. That is the hand that God has stretched to all nations, all people that can believe and receive it. Amen. That is the counsel of God, to crown the year with his goodness, amen. more and more of his goodness. Amen. Can I hear you? Amen. amen. That is God's determinate counsel. That is what has been proposed. That is what God has determined to do for you and I. Amen. Can I hear you? Amen. amen. This is the purpose of God. That is the hand of God that is stretched out upon all nations. Amen. But the Bible says in the next verse, who the Lord of hosts has proposed, who shall disannul it? His hand is stretched out. Who can turn it back? God has proposed, who shall disannul it? His hand is stretched out. Who can turn it back? I want you to know that only one person can turn back the purpose of God for your life. Only one person can disannul the purpose of God for your life, and that is you. And I want to admonish you this morning, and that's what I want to talk about. Don't let unbelief keep you out of God's goodness. Amen. Don't let unbelief keep you out of God's goodness. God, uh, God said it straight out. Who can disannul it? You know, God's hand, you know, is straight out. God has proposed who can disannul it. His hand is straight out. Who can turn it back? It's a question. But we found out in John chapter 6, verse 37, Jesus made a statement there that will begin to give us a clue into what the Lord wants to pass across to us today. In John 6, 37, Jesus said, All that the Father has given to me, shall come to me. That is all that God has proposed concerning me. The good hand of God that has been stretched forth in my direction will happen in my life. Then he made a statement there to seal it up. He said, and he that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. So it can come my way or your way, but you can cast it out. You can refuse it you can choose not to accept it. Hello, somebody. Sure. So the only person, so that means it is possible. You know, every, pro, every promise of God, every plan of God will require our cooperation. It will require our participation. So there is one who can disannul the purpose of God. There is one who can uh, turn back the head of God. The one that can do that is the one that is filled with unbelief. Yes, three things can actually turn back or hinder the purpose of God. Number one, unbelief. Number two, doubt. Number three, fear. But I'm going to major on unbelief this morning. Can I hear an amen? amen. You know, yeah, you, we have to understand the rule. God has, God has proposed to crown this year for us with his goodness. Hello, somebody. Amen. In Hebrews chapter 4, are you see here? Yes, sir. So, somebody say, unbelief will not keep me out. Of God's goodness, God's goodness in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, say like you really believe it. Say, I will not allow, I will not allow unbelief, unbelief to keep me out, keep 
out, out of God's goodness for my life. God has proposed it. Say, God has proposed it. But I will not allow my unbelief to disannul the purpose of God. To turn back the hand of God in my life. 